we have uh, the history, uh, in the history since the beginning of the helicopter, we have the old technique that is going out of an vortex ring state. That's once you are trapped in your bubble, you're going by pushing forward. The problem is that in the operation, in most of the case, you cannot use it because you have obstacle in front or you are at low altitude or there, in fact, if you are pushing forward in a tailwind condition, you will follow your bubble until the accident place. And that's why I developed a wish air recovery in state to go out of the vortex by pushing forward. I use the tail rotor thrust and I do a course of control. That means I'm going out on the side, on the left, on the right, depending which kind of helicopter you have clockwise or counterclockwise. And so you are out immediately, a half a second later, you are out once the uh, blade moving uh, to the upwind part of the vortex and the vortex is recovered. So that's more safe and so you can use it in every operational condition. Even if in a, in a mountain operation you have suddenly the upwind collapses, you can use the Wisher recovery as a prevention to not enter in the vortex. And that make the whole operation safer. I developed uh, operational auto rotation because in the pilot operating handbook or aircraft flight manual, you have auto rotations. You will never have these conditions in a real life. You will never have the engine failure over the airport. You will have the engine failure after the departure. You will have the engine failure in the mountains. You need to land upslope. So we are not in the part of the certification. So if you are using the helicopter operationally, we need to have escapes. And I cannot use the POH auto rotation because I'm flying in the death. That's why I developed several techniques to land upslope, to land in low speed to land in a confined area and that's coming on more and more now with new films, with new videos, using new technique of simulations like the virtual reality simulation so we'll be able to do the demonstration clearly the difference between the normal and the operational auto rotations.